How's it going, guys? Welcome to Audio Addiction. We have Sauce back again with us. Man, I don't even know how many years it's been. It's been a long time, but they can say their names. Scott wasn't even in the band, so now they can say their names and what they do in the band. I'm Dom. I play bass. I'm Steven. I play guitar. I'm Nathan. I play drums. I'm Adam. I'm the circus clown. I also realized I said Scott, and I meant Steve. Oh boy. That's my on brain's right. On his birthday, That's too. Crazy. Wow. Make sure to roast me in the comments. <laughs> Let's do a new take. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I just want people to just at me now in the comments. <laughs> at me in this video, too. Just say, Brandon. Or I could change my name to Scott. No, no, no. no, no. That's a I can't do it. It's on your birthday. Yeah. You know, that would be disrespectful to your birthday. That's very true. Yeah, so, anyway, guys, it's been... Wow, it's been a long time, you know. Mm. Adam and I did our first interview eons ago. Yeah, like and when? Like at least five years ago. It's Yeah, it's like it's pushing crazy. six now. Yeah, it's crazy. Six, seven eons. Six, yeah, I know. We've been around for six or seven eons. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, Wild crazy. times here. But wanted to know, guys, you got some, you released a new song recently. And, you know, you have a new song coming out. That's also out already as of this recording. So, um, you know, what's what's going on with the sauce camp? There's, it seems you, you were quiet for a long time, so now you're back. Yeah. So what's, what's been going on? What's I, been cooking? What's cooking? Yeah, we are cooking, you know. Dom's cooking Are you cooking, something. Dom? Yeah. Shit in his pants. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I got sweat going down my ass crack right now. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I don't know if that was <laughs> for uh, YouTube, but yeah, it was for YouTube. True. You might have to bleep it. But, oh, uh, we uh, are we curse free? Are we? No, you can curse. I just didn't know if that's uh, something people wanted to know. I, that might you want to save that for the OnlyFans, I think. True, yeah, true, it's, true. It's okay. All right, sub to me, by the way. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Um, I don't know. I mean, like, yeah, we were kind of <laughs> quiet. <and>, uh, <laughs> kind of. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I we had recorded the album and like. 2020 what yeah so that's a that's a fact okay that's, uh, that's a fact i didn't know yeah so everything was actually recorded like july of 2020 so we were in the studio we did all of it and then like i wanted additional production on a lot of the shit so like a lot of the songs needed it like what there's, there's additional production like from all our friends that will be revealed soon <laughs> um <laughs> But like how cryptic. Yeah, very like, cryptic. Like everything will be revealed to you. <laughs> <laughs> but like literally like I don't know. So I did, you know, we did all the recording and then uh like 2021 comes around. I'm like still trying to figure out like who's going to do what on it, like sure. additional prod stuff. At the same time, I'm having like fucking anxiety episodes up the wazoo. Aww. So like I'm totally incapacitated throughout the whole thing um meanwhile like you know i started working with anthony green on like a couple of things but like nothing saw the light of day or anything but like it was good to like just like how work. you just passively just well, said I mean, yeah so anthony green and i like, work together I, this is just the timeline like that was january 2021 then like i started like feeling like shit for a long time amen brother uh Played, like, only a few shows the last couple of years. But in the last, like, I want to say, like, six months, now this is, like, where everything has come to light. Like, we literally finished the mix for the first single, Ooh. like, a month before it was released. <laughs> then, like, this single, I guess that will be out yes. when it comes. Yes, uh, That mix was finished, like, two weeks before I submitted to DistroKid wow. or whatever. And now we have the, the third single is going to come out probably like September-ish and then album October. But like it was a long time. And it was, I think like I do feel bad because like <laughs> I, I mean like to be honest, like I wasn't around. Like people were like, holy shit, like I make one post on fucking Facebook, like my personal one or something. Because I don't really go on it. Everyone's or, like sauce, sauce, yeah, sauce, 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 yeah, sauce. Whatever. We all had our picket. Yeah. Yeah. Right. We're all like, where are you at, Adam? It's not like we're like the biggest band in the world, but people care. So sure, it's like yeah. it's it's just that's what's important. So I'm hoping to give back, and like you know, people who have waited, like you. I know you've waited. It's, I have. 
It's important. It's been 87 years. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to I want to be transparent in that like it's not that I I didn't want to like not release music or anything. Sure, it's just yeah. like I wasn't in the the headspace. Right and, like, space. Yeah. We had, we had a bunch of personal shit. Like we, you know, Dom's fucking married now and all this hey, shit. Like, wife good. Wife good. Good job. Uh, and, good uh, and, uh, <laughs> you know, like you Nate's wife, Nate's <laughs> bounced around. <laughs> 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 Nate's moved like three times in the span. And then like, you know, like I just got engaged and stuff. Congrats. And, like, thank you. So like we're, we're all moving on up. And Steven's birthday today. Happy so birthday, like, Steven. Like, this will be <laughs> yeah, go on for Every Steven. year I get one birthday. <laughs> 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 you max level in Genshin. Yeah. I did max level in Genshin, but I don't play that game anymore because it's boring. It's been a long time. Yeah. I did play Tears of the Kingdom for like two weeks straight. And That's me now. <laughs> it will be me one day. So yeah, we, we're coming back. We're, Yay! We're back. Yeah. 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 Music is on the way. Music's on the way. Well, I'm very excited, obviously, just because I thought, sorry, I thought this person was going to run into us, but... Um, <laughs> I, I have been waiting for it. I did check out the first single, and I was like, wow, this is chef's kiss. Thank you. Gift from the gods, you know. <laughs> I was I was waiting. And then now I'm going to check this new one out, and guys, you can check a reaction video out. It'll be <gasps> linked in the description. So go give it some love. Go check sick. out Sauce. Funny story, I almost meant, I almost managed them at one point. Well, you kind of oh, yeah, did. Kind of did. We did that Electric Halloween Fest. We did, too. yeah. That was a yeah. weird time. That was a weird time. Back in the day. <laughs> like, now. Yeah, like, people, like, it was, like, a very s weird, sparse crowd. And then, like, we started playing. And then and like, everybody came people out. People started flocking, yeah. like, like literal zombies. Yeah, like Halloween. actual zombies. Yeah. 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 There was real zombies there, guys. Yeah, it was insane. You, if you weren't there, you don't know. But that was, oh, my God. That was, like, 2018. Yeah, 2018. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. So I did was their manager for a, a very small time. Yeah. But it was good. Yeah. It was it a was fun good. time. It was a fun um, time. But, I mean, obviously, with the new stuff that's coming out and having it take three years to kind of, like, obviously work all of that stuff out, what kind of ultimately led you to releasing this stuff as opposed to maybe, like, scrapping it and writing new stuff? Because I feel like, sonically, I don't know, I imagine all of you have gotten much more proficient at your instruments mm -hmm. than, you know, releasing the stuff that you've released in 2020. So what kind of... I guess mindset that you guys kind of went with in terms of being like we I feel like we should release this because people want to listen to it. I mean, I think it still sounded fresh. Oh, okay. So like I would agree. The the production and everything that's coming with it, that's what's like new newly added on to like some of the songs, but like even like our engineer um Adam from uh Timber Studios. He's uh Shout out to Adam. Yeah. The the goat. The goat. Um he even said, like, you know, we recorded this a long time ago, but, like, it still sounds fresh to me. And that's so, good. like, that's important. Like, I I don't think we were going to scrap any material. Like, we, it's only, like, ten songs or whatever. And it's, like, I think. Only ten songs. I mean, that's a good amount, yeah. I mean, yeah. But, like, we don't have, like, a B-size or anything. It's sure, just, like, sure, here's, yeah. here's the fucking material. You're going <laughs> to listen to it. Here's so, like, we got. You better like it. <laughs> you better like it. <laughs> or we're going away again. <laughs> I mean, that's not to say, like, we, we you know, since then, like, obviously our tastes change. Sure, or whatever, yeah. But, like, I think you can still hear them with the music. I mean, like, me and Dom have collabed on production for a couple of the songs, and it sounds fucking sick. I really would you, like Would em. you agree, Dom? Is it fucking sick? I give it a, a strong okay hand and three thumbs up. Yep, that's really good. <laughs> wow, that's what he gave Oppenheimer too. <laughs> 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 too soon. <laughs> um, but no, it's. I mean, I think it sounds fresh, and like I've been like also writing like album two, like ah. in my free time. Like mm. I just, just I have time to kill, and like I was starting to get back into making music, and like oh. I have like twenty fucking demos of shit. Wow. So it's like, and that's like you know, my book of work in a way. But, like, I, I do enjoy, like, to me, the, like, my barometer of is this good music is if I enjoy it, and as long as, like, I like it and, like, the band likes it, then just like, you. that's good. Just you. Yeah, well, or just me, <laughs> you know. I'm the, like, the rest of you guys. The now. judge. Yeah. But I think we, <laughs> I think that's one thing that we, we talked about, because I think after our EP, I think we talked about, like, you know, there were some things, like, maybe, like, we could have done differently. Sure, yeah, yeah. 
And so, like, I think the goal here is, like, if we're not all in agreement that, you know, this group of or collection of music is good. Sure. You know, we're not going to release it until it's everybody is happy. You're not going to half-ass it. Yeah, no. We yeah. don't want to, we don't want to jip, you know, jip ourselves or the people who enjoy it. So, you know. I think the big thing I feel like is that at the end of the day, when I hear the songs, I still like them. Sure. You know, like, yeah. They're yeah, still yeah. fresh. You know, like I, it's. I listen to them and I'm excited about them still. You know. Um, and though I did, maybe I wouldn't write the same song today. It's still part of the, you know, the story. If that makes sense. Part of the progress. Part of the. Part of the journey. Yeah. Exactly. The yeah. sauce journey. Of course. Yeah. I wouldn't expect anything less from you guys. <laughs> well. The next question I have for you is, since you know, you you know, politely drop the album drop on me, what's so- one song that you're excited for people to hear off the new album? I if think... you can release, if you can release names, you know. Oh well, I don't or even numbers. know. Numbers. We, we don't even have n- names. That's another. <laughs> that's another problem. Wow, I am really, uh, I am really digging out. Uh, this is so really, much unearthed stuff this here. This is really Can last we minute. Code names. Uh, I guess it's. It would be called stupid right yeah, now as the stupid. demo. Yeah. Stupid. I okay. think we'll call it. I think we'll call it rage quit though. Rage know. quit because it's, it's very fucking hard to play. But like, are you actually going to rage quit live? I mean, yeah, probably. We're not playing it tonight. That's for damn sure. It's very hard, and we have not practiced enough. <laughs> oh, I almost called it Fantano's theme. Oh yeah, Fantano's. <laughs> that was that was Shonen's Shonen. name. Shonen yeah. was Fantano's. Shonen's theme. a hard one for me. And they're like, let's always open the set with it. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> and now they never want to play stupid. It's like cowards. They're cowards. I would play stupid. Wow. It's just we're going to sound bad playing. It, it, sounded, it well, sounds it is better stupid. every time we play it. It sounded great today. It sounded great yeah. today. It sounded great. We actually don't even have time for it tonight. Yeah, actually. that's cool. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I would say that stupid rage quit, whatever it's going to be called, that is going to be the third single. I think that's probably my – my one of my favorite songs on it, like Shonen, is definitely like probably our top tier song ever. I don't think anything is gonna top it on this album. <laughs> wow! <laughs> All right, I disagree. I'm just kidding. No, uh, we got two disagrees. So. It's it's it, no. I just love that song so much, and it's just like a perfect culmination of like all of our talent together. So sure, like, yeah. That's why I love it. But I'm saying like all the songs are are good on this album to me. Some even it's great. Yeah, I would say even fantastic. Yeah. You know. Antano is yeah. is that we wrote Fan- it in one yeah. sitting. Yes. I didn't want to. No, you could have stealed it. Up. This is true. We did write Shonen in one sitting. Yeah. It it took one yeah, practice to yeah. figure this out, and that was it. At least in terms of the basic song, yeah, we had the whole structure. Yeah. <laughs> We're a little bit of a savant. <laughs> <laughs> ones don't take that much you know yeah, some say we're way. talented at other, music other, other songs are not, are not that yeah but i think it's also like a lot of the songs in the album are like finding like a medium of like you know differentiating production with like you know good catchy songwriting probably but like i think we find that we strike a balance with all of it you know i, I think there's a lot a lot's going on, but it's like you can follow it. Like that's kind of like the thing I get yeah. out of it. It's super dense, but there's like almost always like just like a a clear through line for like every part. I feel like it's a lot of like stacked harmony and stacked melodies, but like even like throughout like the noise, there's like this like kind of one melody that everyone's latching onto at once. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. So it's pretty it's pretty sick. I agree. I think album's good and cool, and uh, swag fun. Swag. Def swag. Yeah. Swag. Neat. Neat. Yeah. Rad. Rad. Yeah. Hell yeah. Tubular. Very much so. Okay. Well, those are all adjectives. So if this <laughs> album comes out and th- you do not feel about any one or more of those <laughs> adjectives, don't at me. I mean, you can if you want, but also add sauce. Yes, that's true. Yeah. You know, and then they might leave. So don't do it. Don't, don't do it. <laughs> one I would like to see them stick around. <laughs> Thanks. One thing that's actually, I think, kind of interesting is that we sort of open this like little series of singles with what is kind of like the most energetic song, maybe say for stupid. Sure. Like, it's at the same time, it's the least produced song of the whole bunch. I like agree. it's like the only song on the yeah, album. It's like two guitars, bass drums, like it's just yeah. Yeah. everything Shonen else. You're yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 So like shown in like 
We love the song. It's like super fun, but like, stay tuned. <laughs> You're you hot. You oh my god! Getting sauced up to next. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Somebody should just clip this, and this will there be their like album promo. For yeah, I mean, <laughs> this is the promo. That's actually another thing that I was I was just thinking about. So like, I used to be really big into like the whole. Like social media shit and like you did, yeah, yeah. I you was, were on. I it. was pretty outspoken. You're on the grind. I was on the grind. Now like, like yeah, now he's I, engaged. I, you know, now he's no, got no, all the no, practice. Yeah. It's just like uh, the old ball and chain. I, <laughs> <laughs> I still care. Like I still care about. Like, I know. I know. Out, but it's like I don't think I care as much as I used to. I just care about the product, like the music. Respect. Itself. Yeah. And I think like. As long as it resonates with me, I'm okay with that. If people don't want to listen to it, it's fucking fine. I don't give a shit. Like, if they don't <laughs> care about my music, I don't want to give them, like, I don't want to beg them to care. To listen, yeah. Yeah, so it's like... Don't worry. You don't have to beg me. I'm going to listen to <laughs> it. <laughs> and I'm, that warms the cockles of my heart. <laughs> Thank you. I want to know what, where that is at, but... <laughs> the heart. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> The hard cock bomb. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, before this gets demonetized, let's move on to the next question. Um, in terms of influences for the album, what were some of the artists that you guys were like pulling from musically? Uh, I mean, I don't know. I mean, like obviously, like a lot of electronic artists oh, were okay. big on that. I think, like you know, we we listen to like a lot of like chip tune shit or like Ooh, okay you know, yeah or like anamana gucci yeah that too okay cubby who we've collabed with as well and then like uh like i was listening to a lot of hyper pop stuff at the time and i was doing like a lot of like collabs with people in that scene which yeah was, you were you're were popping off i mean it was nice like i it was cool to like bridge the gap for a bit and now everybody does like I'm not saying I'm the one who does it. Like I, I'm not I'm not the one who like fucking Adam's like I'm the one who it. did it. No, 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 I'm no. the originator. Because there was a lot of people who were really smart about like incorporating like Midwest emo with yeah, like, yeah, yeah. you know electronic music and stuff like that and like so like break in some people like that. But like you know I think I listened to a lot of that. I listened to like Dom and I listened to a lot of like Pat Metheny and stuff like that. Is that true? So, it's very true. Yeah. I, you know, Pat Metheny is just kind of the goat. My musical blood, at this point. It's true. I mean, I wish I could claim that as like you know, wow, I I have some iota of skill like that. <laughs> you do. No, not compared to Pat Metheny. Trust me. <laughs> but, Bye, Pat Metheny. Thank you so much. You're welcome. It's not even just like the skill though. It's like the atmosphere of it's the, the songs. The the yeah. voice, like yeah. you know, so like the man speaks through his instruments, and he only plays with people who speak through theirs, and so like. Anytime, you know, one thing about Pat Metheny and then Jacko, who he played with, and every basically, you know, Lyle Mays, rest in peace, like all those people that he played with. One thing that's really amazing about them is that they have like a very distinct way of playing where, like, it always feels like one, they're kind of conversing through their instruments, but two, like, despite how complex it could get and like how long running the melodies can get, it always feels familiar and it always feels like home, even when it goes like way out. Is always coherent. So something that I really do with my bass lines a lot is, um, you know, they're like pretty busy, um, but I always try to like just kind of make it outline everything in the song. And so then like every layer of the song, even like the bass kind of ends up as its own little melody, but none of them necessarily stand on their own. They're all just kind of, you know, I don't know, I'm rambling now. I could go on, like, I could wax <laughs> I mean, poetic about the fucking I mean, it, DMG. There, like, is a, there is a truth to that. Sure, that, yeah. That Dom's... I think bass is way more prominent on this album Ooh. than before. Okay. There's a, there's a, I don't know, you have like three solos on this album. This yeah. Album. It's a little, a little goofy for a bassist. I mean, still, like. Yeah. I respect it. There's, there's just some shining moments for the bass. But I mean, like, yeah, that's, I guess, like, those are, like, the influences in a way. And, I mean, like, we were trying to find, like, our own way. And if people say, people can say, like, we're biting or not but like i think we find our sound in a way that like uh i th that's much newer much fresher than before so i, I think i think i th i see it that way you know i mean i know. feel like uh, between our old albums and now like i could kind of draw comparisons between our previous album and like a lot of music that was like around at the time 
and like not that they like weren't like distinct from that but like you know there's a lot there's a reason why people would say like hey that's kind of like chan or hey that's kind of like this is because yeah. like that was sort of like the foundation with this album which i think is really cool is that i don't know any other bands that sound like this album coming out i just don't and maybe that's my own ignorance but yeah, yeah. it's pretty cool yeah i think it's cool too only time will tell right true so <laughs> I, I, well, I mean, even for Shonen, I was kind of, like, surprised. Like, I was like, wow, they really went, like, full production. Like, that, and that was kind of, like, my first initial reaction to it. I wish I could have just captured it at that time. Um, but I went and listened to it, and I was just kind of shocked that it was the same band. That was kind of what blew me away, was, like, the same group members in the group made, you know, bedtime stories. Now they're doing this, which is completely different. <laughs> I'm like, what happened in between that mental kind of illness? Le- yeah, <laughs> <laughs> crippling depression. Yeah. Um, no, I I feel like there was something different about it, and I appreciated the fact that you guys just allowed yourself to just do whatever you wanted to do. I think that's kind of what at least made made it special to me that you guys were so close. And seeing you often was that I think you guys just were like, we're just going to do what we want to write. We're going to just keep going at it. And if people like it, cool. And you should like Sauce. Check the links in the description. But um, <laughs> I think that you guys just did what you wanted to do, and you still continue to do that. So I feel like that's what at least if I can speak for my Sauce fan base, I would say I would hope people kind of understand that you guys are just going to like go out and do it. People should enjoy it because it's sauce and not because it's trying to be Chon Jr. or Polyphia Jr. Mm-hmm. or whatever, you know? Yeah. And I think we're, I think we're like, it's not that we're like old or anything, but like, <laughs> we're, we've. You're we've, older. We've, yeah, we've grown together. Right. I think like, you know, you learn from like things you've done in the past, right? So like, I'm just going to enjoy it. I'm not going to stress too much about it. I think, like, I used to be too stressed about it. And uh, I think, you know, good things always come about. Like, everything ends up being okay in the end. That's the way I see it. Uh, but, like, I wouldn't do it. Like, I couldn't do it without, like, these guys. The homies. For sure. Like, it's – they're a big reason why. So, <laughs> start crying. <laughs> <laughs> just start walking yeah. off camera. Now. I'm going to cry. <laughs> the waterworks start to come out yeah well the next question i have for you guys is what are you jamming to right now what what have you guys been listening to lately because i always love asking this question you i know you guys got some good ones so what what, what we got listened to i've been listening to a hell of a lot of a band called dissolve they're out of japan they're like i think they're doing well there but like they're shamefully under like no underappreciated underappreciated they're just like you know to, to continue on my little tirade. They're kind of like the, the second coming of like the Pat Metheny group. It's incredible. <laughs> but also like mixed mixed with like modern metal sensibilities and stuff. It's just, you know, Dissolve, incredible. And then all the side projects of all the bands, of, of all the members of the band are incredible too. It's like, I don't know, can't recommend it enough. It's been on loop like forever and yeah. Okay, I'm gonna check out Dissolve. Very gamer stuff. Also, Sita Guitar, Sita uh, Dylan Reavy. I don't know really what he calls his stuff. Is he the guy who won the Strandberg competition? He did. That's a guy, yeah. Ooh. That stuff. Oh. Mwah. Most anticipated album of 2023, for me. What does the birthday boy have to say? Um. What have I been listening to? I don't even fucking know. Yoki. Uh, um, you definitely been listening to. Oh, what's it? What's that oh, yeah. Japanese band? Which. There's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yo, oh. yo, so, uh, oh, Yoasubi. Yeah. Yoasubi, yeah. Yo, Yoasubi is like the fucking goat. <laughs> just like he j- took the mic. That's how passionate yeah. he was about I, 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 I fucking love Yoasubi. It's just <laughs> J-pop. <laughs> the production is insane. Um, I don't know. Well, I'm not Japanese. I don't speak Japanese. But, you know, it's, it's fucking, it's just, I don't know. I just can't stop listening to <laughs> fucking Yoasubi. She did the OP for one of these, for um, Oshinoko. Ooh, it was oh. really, really fucking good anime. Yo, you love it? I do I, love it. I, 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 I acquired it and would like to view it. Yes, Oshinoko is a great anime. Yoasubi did the OP. It's a fucking banger. <laughs> 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 it goes so hard. It's so good. But yeah, listen to Yoasubi if you like J-pop shit. 
Steve went like real like music reviewer on that, so <laughs> you guys better check that out. Steve's uh, legit. New channel coming. Yeah, he's coming on to my channel now. <laughs> I feel threatened. Well, well, what? What are Nathan. you listening to? What? Yeah, what are you listening to? I was uh, I have been listening to. Actually, this guy recommended the Lemon Twigs to me, and I've been listening to oh. them a lot. They're so good. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> it's so fucking tight. It's like Sad Beach Boys. <laughs> it's so good. Um, it's all emo. Oh, my God. It's so fucking tight. And I also, there's a, a new Volf Nick album. It's not a Volf Peck album. It's a different, I don't. I honestly have no idea what the naming strategy Interesting. is. Interesting. Yeah, and they really. But there's a, it's under the name Volf Nick. And oh, it's an awesome, awesome. Okay. Awesome, awesome. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, that's really the two biggest things. Like, like the stuff that I've had on repeat, other than, you know, just what shows up. But yeah, they're so good. I just got the Lemon Twigs album uh, uh, in I'm, Vine. I'm so proud of you. Yeah, I'm very happy about it. <laughs> you seem very happy about it. <laughs> yeah. No. It's a banger. Okay. I'm going to have to check it out now. It's, it's Fuego. It's Fuego. Okay. It's, uh, yeah, I was going to say Lemon Twigs too. Like, it's essentially like, Taking the best of like seventies rock songwriting, but you like modernizing it and the production's amazing. Um they're like like mid twenties. You would think like this album's been out for like <laughs> forty years, but like it's like a modern classic. Um but I love that album. I've been listening to um who I've been listening to. Uh, I've been listening to the new George Clanton album. So okay. It's a vaporwave artist who's been around for a while. Also n known for his other projects like Mirror Kisses and uh, is a hundred percent electronica label. But uh, I've been listening to that; it's awesome. It's like a throwback to like the '90s type of like pop production, Ooh. but like he has his modern spin on it. Um, but yeah, I've been listening to a lot of that, and that just came out. Um, I was also listening to Cal Callis Dow Boys. And stuff nice, like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Carson the homie. Uh, Shout out. Sings in that band, uh, but yeah, they've been killing it. They're like going to the moon, you know. They are probably like Stonks. the most unique, like hardcore, mathcore, mathcore yeah. band uh, around right now. So definitely been listening to them for sure. Wild stuff. Go yeah. check them out. They're sick. Can confirm. Yeah. Um. Next question for you guys is: I have to ask you. You guys went on a little bit of a you know, tangent with Anthony Green. And I feel like people need to know how, why, why did you, did, how did that happen? As, to me, it, it seemed out of the blue. Yeah, so I mean, like, like, yeah, first of all, I want to preface, I'm really fucking annoying. So, like, <laughs> I, I'm like, I know you? that. You? You're annoying? Yeah, I'm very annoying. Wow. I know people... Insane. Take it, take it the wrong way, and I don't, you know, I I don't give them any qualms about that. I I get that, but like, I think it was just more like, you know, we were talking about it, like, 2018, 2019. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then like towards the end of 2020, I was I just went on Twitter and I was like, yo, we should we should do something. We should do something. He's like, I agree. And then we DM'd. Uh, got on a call, and we talked about, you know, what we want to do, what we want to achieve. Mm, okay. So, like, I'm trying to even think when I went. I went, like, I went to visit him, and we just kind of, like, hung out and, like, talked about music and, like, what we're hoping to do. And so we recorded a couple songs together, a few songs. Mm. I have a lot in the vault, like, demo-wise. Okay. I don't know if, what we'll see the light of day, but, like, you know, we just talked and, like, we hit it off. We made, like, stuff that was unique to both of us. Like, it wasn't, like, like all of his a million bands. It wasn't, like, sauce, really. It was just sure, kind of, like, sure. more like pop music in a way. And uh, we we hit it off. Then we, like, played that show with him in Asbury. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. Uh, in mid-2021. It was a great show, and, like, we showed, like, the Mastradamus stuff which is, like, kind of what the working title of the group was. Um, and then, like, you know, we kind of, like, split our own ways for a little bit. And then, like, 2022 comes around. Um, he's like, hey, I need a band for California. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. And I was like, okay, I mean, 
first of all, I thought he was lying because I thought he was just kind of <laughs> like he he brought it up once, and I was like, okay, like sure. Ah, oh, like, nice man. Yeah. All right, cool. And, he's, and then like a month or two before it, he's like, oh, um. You I know, still really need that band yeah, thing. I need that <laughs> band. And so, like, we started practicing in, near his home, and it was awesome. Like, he oh, was sick. super okay. into it. We we really practiced the songs, like, hard, like, on our own time. And so, like, when we did the first practice together, he was, like, super Whoa. impressed with all yeah. that. So, like, we were pretty grateful. And then, like, we ended up going to California for that tour. We opened S-Sauce for him, and then played another set so we're playing like an Double hour sets. and a half yeah. every night you know Ooh. it's fucking terrible <laughs> <laughs> it was intense. yeah it was cool. so like yeah we played we played the a few california shows and then we did swan fest which was an interesting time i'm sure it was uh it was uh huge crowd which was awesome but like we were definitely the most different yeah. from all the bands there, because it's like all swan core and like heavy bands and stuff like that. And then you have like Anthony's music, which is like his solo yeah. stuff. Yeah, <laughs> I think the hardest thing we, like the heaviest thing we played was like a blues version of Get Out, and that was <laughs> the, heaviest, the heaviest. So like, there was nothing like, you know, I I did not expect something like that to happen. I'm grateful that it did. Um, now these days, like he obviously has his other bands, like Ellis Dunes. And yeah, stuff. sure. Like, he's yeah. touring with that, and he's busy, and he's busy with his family. But like we keep in touch from time to time, and uh, that's good. Yeah, you know who knows what we'll do in the future. Um, if he ever stops touring, <laughs> so uh, that's not a possibility. <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, it was an awesome time. I mean, like just he was grateful for us, and we were grateful for him that we got to do the sure, opportunity, yeah. and like. Um, once in a lifetime thing. He's a very funny guy. Oh, like, I'm sure. He, yeah, yeah, he seems very uh, yeah. charismatic. Um, but he was like super nice to us, like on tour, and like made sure that we had like, you know, good accommodations for everything. Oh, and, like, that's so, awesome. Like, yeah. He like looks out for like, you know, our comfort and well being and checking in. So like, that was kind of like the big thing. But obviously, like now, he's busy with Dunes. Uh. I don't know if there's, you know, I know, like, he's also busy with, like, Seosin yeah, stuff, yeah, yeah. too, now. He's going to be busy with it. So, yeah, it was cool. It was an awesome experience. Yeah, it just seems kind of like, I feel like most people just didn't either know that happened or knew that happened and was just like, what's going, is this, are they going to collab together on a sauce track? Like, what's going to happen? I mean, we, we did, col so we have a bunch of ideas it just now we have to like update those ideas. I also made remixes for a solo album. I was gonna say yeah. Out. I might put those on SoundCloud because I don't think they're gonna come out. I might just drop them and share them f on my end of things. Nice. I don't think okay. you would mind that. But like, uh, yeah. So who knows in the pipeline? Maybe next year we'll think of something. You know. He's just gonna send you a cease and desist letter. Yeah, let's hope. Like a Nintendo yeah. Ninjas. Yeah. That's also a massive W. If you <laughs> I got a cease and desist letter from Anthony Green. Hey, free autograph. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and a restraining order. <laughs> Two thumbs up. Love that. No, it's it's cool. And it was good to see because I was just like popping off. I was like, my guys did it. <laughs> they did it. I'm so proud. Proud Papa. Proud Papa moment. Thank you. <laughs> Number one dad moment, you know? <laughs> um, no, it's cool. And just to see you guys coming back and I, and just with the new songs, especially Shonen Out Now, and I haven't listened to a new one yet, um, but it just makes me excited to hear what you guys have cooking up in the oh, pot because I think, I think there's been some stuff that, you know, long enough wait for all of us that have been waiting <laughs> for Sauce stuff. But the last question I have for you guys is a question I've been asking more currently in my interviews. Um, as you know, I've been doing this for a long time, um, but I love doing it, and I want to know why you guys still create music, why it's important to you guys, because taking time off, I think, is very important to have, and stepping away from it is, I think, very healthy, but what ultimately made you guys come back and obviously brings re bring Sauce back alive? Mm. I need to think about that one. Yeah, think about it, Adam. Uh, I have to ponder. Ponder. Uh, why did I? Yeah. Why did I? Yeah, why did why you? Did why, why did you, I Nate? To play music? I don't know. Music, I've been playing music forever. I mean, I can't think of not playing it, if that makes sense. Like, I mean, I started for, I mean, like, 
tech. I'm an instrumentalist. I would say more than anything, or like, or not more than anything, because I don't, you know, spend as much time as every like, waking so, moment. Yeah, exactly. If I to consider myself an instrumentalist, just like, you know, I'd have to probably practice. And this more. whole interview, <laughs> this. but that is what draws me to music. Ultimately, is like you know, seeing what I can do. You know, like seeing if I seeing somebody else do something sure. that I can't do that I can't even imagine doing. And taking it step by step and seeing, well, what if I just put it into a, write it into a song and then I have to do it on stage and it's like, it sounds awful for the first four, but then by the fifth, it's like, this might be okay. It clicks, like, yeah. yeah. Um, so, and also, I mean, like, I do it with my homies. I do it with oh. my friends, my oh. dear friends, you know, oh. like, I couldn't, you know, that's, it's uh, being able to create something. Sure, you yeah. Know, with my with my friends, you know, if I do it for fun, because I love this, you know, that's God. a big part. So Choked true. up for me. <laughs> Choked up. I, I will say that. <laughs> Steve. I'm just not good at anything else. <laughs> oh, <laughs> just that's not true. <laughs> no. He's playing melee. Oh, that's one thing. <laughs> <laughs> so now that you got at least two things you're good at, what's the problem? That is okay. Greater, that is greater than melee hurts my hands more than music does, so I like to not play melee too much. This is true. Carpal tunnel is real. But also, guitar hurts my hands, so I'm kind of fucked. <laughs> 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 um, I don't know. Uh, it, yeah. I mean, kind of what Nate said. Like, I've just been I've been a musician like almost my entire life. Uh, I, I just literally can't see a future without music for me. It's just, I, I just don't, it just doesn't work. <laughs> it's not me. It doesn't, com it doesn't compute. If I'm not thinking about music or, like, making music or just, like, listening to music, like, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, it's fun. Dom? Um, well, I most certainly haven't been playing music my whole life. Uh, so, I, I don't know. I just feel like that there is musical... Uh, ideas left, you know, to be explored, to be... In the tank. Yeah, they're left in the tank. I don't know. I feel like, uh, you know, it's just nice to get a lot of ideas out there that I don't currently hear out there as much as I would like. So, like, I just kind of, you know, I just like singing through my fingers and hanging with the homies. It just sounds like a, a, a good pair. I don't see you singing through the fingers. I'm going to be... Uh, I'd report you. Noted. <laughs> <laughs> the base police. <laughs> no victory. Uh, <laughs> I guess, I mean, for me, yeah, same. I I love playing with my friends. I mean, this is, like, the best part of it. Yeah. The best part is just, like, messing around and, you know, some things, like, will actually click artistically, but also, like, we, <laughs> you know, we, we just have fun. Just goof. What we want. And I think, like, it's also, like, it's a cliche thing, but it's like escapism. Sure, like, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You find solace in what you're creating. And I think, like, during the time when I was, like, AWOL and all that stuff, like, I think I was I was making music, but I was down about it. I was like, I don't know if this is good or not and whatever. And then I kind of reframed my perspective and, like, like, my fiancé would be, like, this is, like, like, she would hear me, like, making something. It's, like, this is, like, you're good at this. Like, you yeah, know sure. what you're doing. Yeah. I'm, like, okay, well, <laughs> someone thinks so. So then, like, it kind of, like, reframed. My wife. Yeah, my wife. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, I, I kind of, like, figured it out where it's just, like, there is, like, something that, like, it makes me whole sure yeah you know it's agree. like a piece of like who i am so like it's a that's piece why. of a puzzle missing yeah, exactly so if i didn't have that i'd probably be you know in worse shape so i'm glad that i continued to do it and it's important to me yeah i mean we wouldn't have met if that didn't happen true. so exactly big full circle moment here guys to end off the interview but the guys can tell you where they can find sauce at what you guys have coming up in the next couple months and yeah anything else you would like to share with the yeah, so class. <laughs> we uh we got uh the single emulate coming Woo! out August second. It'll probably be out when this yeah, is out. Yeah, it will. Uh then we're gonna have probably one more single in September and then album in October ish, I think so. We're gonna have a couple release shows oh. on the East Coast and then Central US. Oh so we'll we'll try to Get those revealed very soon. Oh, okay. Um, 
And then, uh, yeah, it'll, that's really it. You can find us at at sauce with a W official. <laughs> uh, you can also wish Stephen a happy birthday. Yes, even though do it. It's, uh, if you don't, I'll be very disappointed. It won't be his birthday by the time this is. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It doesn't matter. But it's, yeah, it's got to really do it. it. There you go. Well, yeah, it, it's Stephen month here on Steven this channel. Month. So please go wish him a happy birthday down in the comments. But if you enjoyed this interview, you know, like, comment, subscribe. It goes a long way. I'm trying to hit 5,000 subs. And, yeah, I'm a little over halfway there now. Congrats. So, you know, if you want to you get me there, that would be sick. So thank you for watching. If you want to check out Sauce, all the links will be in the description where you can find out about the band. And, you know, we're patiently waiting new album that comes out in October. So give him some love. But, uh. We'll talk to you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> right. What's up?